Well, congratulations. How are you feeling after that performance? Thank you. Um, it was good. A very, you know, all things considered, a very dominant, dominant victory. So, obviously, I would have liked to have gotten the finish. But um, dominant victory, I'm healthy. Um, anytime you get the victory and you're healthy, you, you got to be grateful. And I feel like I just had this talk with you recently because you just fought recently. Yeah. How are you able to get fights so fast when most fighters are complaining about looking for fights? <clears throat> I haven't said no yet, so I, I think that that helps. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm incredibly grateful. You know, they keep me active, they keep me busy, they keep more than enough food on the table for my kids. So um, we just keep showing up and and uh, and doing the best we can. What did you think when you saw your opponent weighing in yesterday? I thought that he had one foot out the door. I thought that, um, I mean, any anyone could tell it was an act. You know, um, he had weight to lose. <laughs> His face, he, he, look, even if you're a, a heavy, you carry more body fat, um, like, you can't say you're sucked out and you're dying and your face is full. You know what I mean? Like, I've cut weight since I was literally five years old. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, like, I know when someone's sucked out. I, I know the face of someone who just quit. You know what I mean? Who just said, fuck it. And, um, you know, like, the UFC tried to help him all week, and, and, you know, he didn't take the help. So it's just a lack of discipline. And, and when I saw that, I was like, all right, he's got one foot at the door. I got to give him a reason to quit. And, um, you know, I will give the kid credit. Like, he, he – but after every round, he stood there and was like, I'm ready to fight. So I, I give the kid credit. You know, he might be, he might be undisciplined, and, and that is – not, you better be spectacular if you're going to be undisciplined in this sport. Uh, but I'm not his coach. I'll give him credit and say that every round he came out ready to fight. You know, there's obviously the big debate about weight cutting and, and punishment for missing weight. Yeah. What, are, what are your thoughts on it? Do you think that 20% was fair? Do you think there needs to be harsher punishment? I don't have the solutions, right? I don't, I don't know. I don't have the answers. I will speak from my experience and, like, my first five fights, one of my opponents made weight. Like, in this sport, I've, I've never missed weight in my entire life. The last time I missed weight was uh, in middle school wrestling. Like, I've, I've never missed weight in my life. I'm disciplined. Like, when I say I'm going to do something, I do it. I do it the right way. But I don't know. Like, I don't give a shit, to be honest. Like, they already knew the answer from me. They're like, do you want to take the fight? I was like, don't, I, don't even ask me that. Like, I, I don't care. Like, the less, what are you telling me? You're undisciplined. Yeah, I want to fight you now. I want to fight you now more than more than I did before. Like, yeah, I don't care. I, I grapple at heavyweight. Like, I'll go up. I want fights at 205. Like, I the bigger guys fall. The bigger guys are softer and they fall. I think a lot of people were uh, fans were a little shocked that he was cleared. Yeah. Um, which, based off what you said about right. you know seeing him on there and maybe it was a little act. Do you think that's why he was cleared? Maybe because yeah, it was an it was an act. Like. When the doctor was there, he was fine. Yeah. You're distracted by the fight, too, aren't you? This is the good fight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what's next for you? When would you like to fight again? When they call me, I say yes. So that, that's, that's up to the UFC whenever they – I'm excited, though. You know what I mean? Two wins in a row, I'm excited to see who they give me next. Um, I think that there's a lot of fun matchups. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Give me one of those fun matchups. <clears throat> I'm not going to keep saying the same name over and over. Um, I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't really have any names right now. I, I'm, I'm, I'm open to whatever. You know what I mean? I, 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 there's a lot of matchups that aren't in the top 15, but there's some matchups in the top 15 that, that I like too. I think that there's a lot of <laughs> – okay, Alex Pereira. Give me Alex Pereira. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of guys that can't grapple at the top. You know what I mean? Thank you. Speaking of grappling, are you going to do any grappling anytime soon? Yeah, I would love to. You know the date? Uh, yeah, October. Uh, there's a Fury card in October. Um, I, but I'm open to any promotions that, that, that have any fun matchups for grappling. I'll grapple anyone. Like, I don't care. Any weight, any style, I don't care. Uh, I know Karate Combat does grappling. I know Craig Jones has grappling. Like, I'll do whatever. Call me. 
Did you watch his last uh, promotion that he put on here in town? Not every match, but I did watch a, a, a few. I, I would have liked to take that Pat Downey spot. Um, he, he got that last fill-in against Rockhold. I would have loved that. Like, that would have been – yeah, I was – I, I like that. You know, I, I like doing the grappling. Um, I just wish there was more opportunities for me. I was going to say, even speaking with that, now that Craig started doing his thing, it certainly seems like the grappling is starting to yeah. grow more. There's, there's more opportunities yeah, out there as well. Um, um, who's the 205 pounder that's, um, that just got a fight? Um, UFC one? Yeah, it's our, our – um, god damn it, black guy. Curly Roundtree. He said he oh, wanted. Yeah. He's like, I want more grappling matches. Then he got booked for the fight. But that I would love that. Like more grappling matches. Two hundred five, eighty five, heavyweight. That I, I'm here. I was gonna say. I think I, your last one was at two hundred. So you like you like wrestling heavy. My last one was at heavyweight. Yeah. Do you feel strong in that? Do you feel quicker? Or I just why, why, why I go up? Heavyweights are <laughs> fun. Like it's more exciting. Like people are like, oh shit. Like yeah. Let's go. That's yeah, awesome. dude, like the old pride days, it was you fought any weight, it didn't matter. Like, I'm big and I'm not like a little guy. Like, I'm not like 165 asking to go against heavyweights. Like, I can get to 220. If I'm 220 and, and a heavyweight's 250, that's nothing to me. You know what I mean? My training partner's Sean's 240. What do you Diced cut? up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you cut down for this? Like, uh, what's your typical fight week cut down? Uh, not fight week, but for a fight. What so, you, so your... I only had six weeks. I think it was six weeks from my last fight. So I, I fought, when was the Denver card? Seven weeks ago? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. so I didn't have time to get big, right? We, we jumped right back into camp right away. So I was only, I think I only got up to like 208. Um, but this was one of the first camps where I water loaded like right the right way. And uh, whew, made a huge difference. That's awesome. Yeah. I guess one, one last one. Um, when's your next commentary gig? You actually have a pretty decent talent for it. I've, I've actually seen, yeah. seen the shows. I, I my boy Morgan that. says that you're, you're top notch. John Morgan's a good dude, man. He, he always, obviously he knows his, his shit. Like he, he's, he knows what he's talking about. He always comes and has me prepared. You know, he's got my cheat sheet ready. I like, I do the research before. I lo like, I love commentating. Like I've commentated the CFFC cards a bunch. Um, I'm always available for commentating if there's any other promotions. Um, I do, I'll do my homework. Like I do the, I like it. You know what I mean? It's the front. I'm a fan of martial arts. Like I'm a student of the game. I watch it. I love seeing these guys that are hungry and just like want to get in the UFC and you know, they're ready to kill someone. They fight for $300. Like I love that shit. Does that carry over to your fight or do you just do the fight analysis for, for actual work gigs? Like, so for your fight, do you study your typical opponents or is it when you're doing a commentary, then you tend to go back to tape and stuff? If there's one thing that I do well, that I do better than, than everyone else, it's I study film. Like me and my coaches, Eddie Torres, Sean, Jonathan, John, we all sit down, we sit down, we watch film. Like that's what we do. I have the, I have the, the Henry Cejudo TV, uh, the TV where you watch it, you can freeze it, you can circle it. Like we, we break everything down. Like we knew Superman punch, overhand right, check left hook, you switch kick. Like, we, we watch film. Like, John Jones talks about it. Like, he, he's like, my team is the best team in the world at rematches because we watch film, we study shit. Like, a lot of these fighters, like, they're really tough. They're really great fighters, but, like, they're not students. They're not students. Like, my team, we watch. We're students, you know? That's awesome. Yeah. Congrats on the win. Thank you, brother. Awesome performance. That 3027 speaks for itself. I'm just curious, what were you cutting weight for at five years old? <laughs> I wrestled since I won my first wrestling tournament when I was uh, four years old. Um, and funny story, my, my dad wasn't like big on cutting weight. So like, I don't want to paint him out to be like this monster, but whatever. So he wasn't huge on cutting weight, but I did have a tournament. I was in fourth grade and I had a tournament and it was like, I couldn't eat lunch that day to make weight. Well, like, you know, I, I wasn't like cutting massive amounts of weights. It wasn't unhealthy. I just had to skip a meal. And of course, like the, the, the teacher calls the principal. Next thing you know, Dyfus are having a whole meeting, a oh. uh, whole, whole student meeting with the principals. And they think I'm being abused. But uh, no, I mean, I, I literally been wrestling since I was four years old. Like my dad was a coach. That's when I won my first wrestling tournament. And um, yeah. That's awesome, man. You yeah. were born into this. You just been born. In yeah, my dad, uh, my dad um, has a black belt in, in karate. He wrestled at Penn State, uh, did some boxing. Um, my dad was 
how I got into martial arts. My dad would watch the old kung fu movies. We'd watch old MMA. My, the first fight I ever watched was Jens Pulver, Uriah Faber, um, Miguel Torres. Like, I grew up watching it since I was a, a young age, from a young age, yeah. That's awesome, man. Did you, out of curiosity, when Jacqueline came out, did you hear her come out to that pride theme? Did you catch that at all? Uh, when when Bodka? To, no, tonight. Uh, when uh, Jacqueline walked out, I think she... The fight after yours. Nah, I didn't oh, see it, yeah, It's awesome. It's just so nostalgic when you he, hear that. She came out the to arena. the Pride song? Yeah. Wow. And, and last for me, that uh, the new strategy that employed, is that going to be something new going forward that you're going to implement with the water, or it was just the one and done? No, no, no. Water loading it has, has made the weight cut so much easier. Yeah. <clears throat> I think that, like I said, like I have been cutting weight since I was... Young, right. but with that being said, like the the science behind it has evolved. Like we're we are smarter about it. You know what I mean? Like um, so, as much as I can sit here and say like, oh, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Like no, there's more. There's there's new techniques that that can be greatly beneficial. So it's like, you know, I'm I'm a black belt, but like I need to be a white belt. You know what I mean? And be more teachable. Like that's humility. Like being I'm teachable. Yes, sir. I've heard a couple of fighters say that same thing. Like, regardless of what, how many stripes you have and all the trophies on the wall and yada, yada, yeah. yada, to keep a white belt mentality. Keep a white belt, yeah. That's what's up. Look, I'm the strongest guy in the UFC, but I still need a strength and conditioning coach. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Congrats on the win, my man. <laughs>